uh, just arrived in Italy, Florence, Italy to be exact. Um, yeah, Barcelona was alright. It wasn't my favorite place to be. Um, yeah, it was, it was alright. I definitely would say my favorite thing about there was the uh, Sangada Familia. Uh, the cathedral, the unfinished cathedral there. Yes, I just got here to Florence and uh, I started smelling some burning. And then I look at that trash can there. This trash can right there. And it had smoke coming out of it. See, that's why cigarettes are dangerous. Um, it looked like somebody dropped a lit cigarette in there and it started to catch on fire. But thankfully, I was a good Italian, and I took my water bottle and I put out the fire, so. Uh, sorta of kinda of plan my day out for tomorrow. Uh, something new to this whole backpacking thing is that when you, when you, when you uh, are planning out your days, you have to account for travel time. So I wanted to stay two days in Florence, right? But the traveling time it took me to get here when I got here at three, and I'm just now leaving the house, uh, the hostel at five to go get some food after planning some stuff out. Uh, I really only have one day here, or a day and a half. Now that's not a problem because I really don't have that much plan. However, like I told you, I wanted to go to I, I was considering about going to Cinque Terre, but everybody keeps telling me good stuff about it. And the hostel has a tour, a day tour that takes you to Cinque Terre. So I might extend my stay one extra day so that I could do that tour and I could kill two birds with one stone instead of staying. Because I was going to stay two days in Cinque Terre, but now if I just spend an extra day here and do the one day tour, I can get that out the way. Uh, because really, I could almost see everything that I wanted to see in Florence in one day, including the Leaning Tower of Pisa, because there's a train that operates between the two cities all day, and it's an hour ride, so. Man. It's a long train ride. Well, it's not too long, like an hour. But it's really easy to get to Pisa uh, by yourself. And I just arrived outside the cathedral. And there you can see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So yeah, it was really easy to get here. The ticket for the train was like 6 euros. The dude for the bus wasn't on the bus, so I just walked on it. And I noticed nobody else really paid either. So I don't know. Bus rides free. Um, as soon as you get off the train station, right in front of the train station, there are the bus stops, and the bus is the st at the stop. It has a um, on the map. It tells you where, like that specific bus stop, where the bus goes, and you want to go to the Park of Pisa. So apparently, the Tower of Pisa was not supposed to be crooked but the ground underneath it when they were building it uh, they didn't anticipate how soft the ground was beneath it the earth and it fell or what well, it fell but it began to tilt and for a while it held the world record for like uh, the piece of architecture to have a lean in it but then uh, other architects purposely built other buildings to with a lean in it to beat it so it doesn't currently hold the world record anymore. So yeah the leaning tower of Pisa actually used to lean more than this. Uh, but they fixed it because it was eventually gonna fall. And they didn't want that to happen, so. I gotta say that I've never seen clouds that look so pretty as the ones I see in Italy. 
So I can see where like Michelangelo and those painters like got their Italian painters got their inspiration from. 